Miss Liu is going to teach you how to do Chapter Ten homework. This assignment will、uh, do a program, animate a car so it move across the frame from left to right,、uh, horizontally. For this assignment, you need to download the car dot Java, which was、uh, from your first semester car class. So let's do it right now. So I need you to create Chapter Ten homework. And once you create it, I need you to、uh, move the car into the source file. So you have the car right now. The、uh, class, this class, this car was from your first semester. You have a、uh, uh, two private variable, x left, y top, and that's your constructor. Your car can draw. Your car can draw rectangle. That'll be wind shear, wind uh, 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 front. Uh, no, this is the uh rectangle windshield, and the front tire, rear tire, and windshield right here. Um, the roof. Uh, we did this last semester, semester one. Now we are going to do this right now. So new, and we are going to do a class. And this class, we're going to call this、um, car component. And we don't need the public static void main yet. At the car component,、uh, I have I need to、uh, extend it to、uh, J component. All right. So as soon as I need that, I have to import、uh, the proper library. Okay, I mean D I C U D I type run. J C O N P O N E N T. Okay. So、uh, let me import the proper li library. Okay. So now、uh, for my car component, I need my uh, my um, private. Uh, class variable, and that will be the car. And the object is a car, and that's half our constructor. Our constructor has exactly the same name as your car class. So let me just copy so I have less typo. And right here, at your component, and、uh, at 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 your constructor. And your constructor、uh, will initialize、uh, your car. So we initialize this car at the、uh, x zero y ten position. So say car equal new car, and at the zero、uh, zero and ten position. Okay. So that's the、uh, first position right now. All right. Say in Uh, your um、uh, your component, okay, your J component has one method, and that method is the is a pen component, and this is the method is responsible to draw your components, your figures. So we're going to say public void pen component, and we are going to use graphics G. Then here, and we know we are going to import graphic. After you import it, and we say, all right. So、uh, we're going to use、uh, your.、Um, remember, this is car component in extend J component. So you are going to use your super, and to pen component. And G. So once you do that, then you are going to upgrade it right now. Graphics, uh, two D, uh, da, no, sorry, two D, and I'm going to call G two, equal, and graphics, two D, and I'm going to upgrade from G to graphic two D. Then as soon as I finish, then my car is going to draw. With the graphic, 
to D. Okay, and that's G two. All right. As soon as I finish my pen components, I am going to move the rectangle. Um, re move the to the x direction and y direction. Um, since I'm going to move to the um uh, horizontal, so I probably only move x, but I need to write right now. So I say <coughs> public uh void uh move car by integer dx integer dy and this one is car dot translate by dx and dy after you translate every time you change your figure you have to repaint All right, so I complete my car component. Then next, I need to write my frame, and I also need to uh, use the uh, car components. So I'm going to right click it, uh, add a class, and I'm going to say use car component. And I also want to the more static man. Okay, so let's start from this right now. So J friend, friend equal new J friend. All right, so let's import the J friend library. All right, so once we do that, they say friend that says size. Mm. Let's have 400, 300. All right. So once I data that, friend da uh, set, uh, let me set this as uh, um, set title. And let's say car moving. All right. And now I need to set defaults. <laughs> friend. Uh, set default close operator and that will be j frame dot exit and close all right so i have that right now and i'm going to use my car component so my car component here and i'm going to call this component and equal to new uh, car component all right so once i do that then i'm going to use it right now so i'm going to let my friend dot add my component all right so my friend will add my component right now then i'm going to friend set visible true so at this moment uh, you will uh, just be see, see one car but you want to add animation so right now you want to add, add with the mm, timer you want to do a time listener and you want to do it inside uh, your class because it's an inner class so what we're going to do is we create an inner class class uh, you can do anything, but that's called timer, okay? And listener, timer listener. And uh, we have to implement uh, the interface. Action listener. So I have to import the action listener. All right, so Add your action listener. There's only one method. The method is called action perform, and it is a programmer's uh, job to provide instruction. Say, when have whenever you activate your timer listener, and what you want to do. So you're going to write this. 
public and you want to avoid action perform action perform and you want to perform action event and event so this is the only method you have to do it now you have to uh, import the action event now once you have this right now so inside this your act uh, inside this uh, perform so you you give the instruction your instruction is your component it is going to move by uh, move car by sorry move car oh let me double check component okay move uh car by we are we are going to move x only okay we don't move to the y because we're going to move horizontal way just to all the way from left to the right and so and we just say component and the retain all right so sorry so we have to repaint every time i move the figure so when i finish right now this is my uh, timer listener okay so after i finish my timer listener so i am going to activate right now so i activate this so it's action uh, listener and uh, you are going to activate this action listener your listener is called listener and is the one from you creator timer that's the one you created all right so now and when you doing this and you also want to uh you because it's keep on moving you you don't see it you want it a little bit delay so you can see that okay so final uh that's a constant variable and all uppercase means is a constant variable and is 100 millisecond that's 0 0.1 second then you're going to put like this right now <coughs> timer t equal new timer uh, then you want to have a delay here and you want to have your your listener uh, now you have to um, import the you need to the timer the one you need to get from swing okay so once you get that and you can say your t dot started mm. now when you finish let's try this program right now i'm going to run it as java application now this is your car this is your component and your car will move slowly uh, zero, every 0 0.1 second will move one pixel and will be moved slowly all the way from left to the right of your screen uh, i hope you enjoy this uh, assignment